Hi everyone, Emma McCann, your pleasure coach here. This video, I want to unpack sensuality and why it's a concept that you can use every day to make your life better. So sensuality is essentially our experience of sexuality. Sexuality, as you might remember from last video, previous videos, is much more than just our sexual interactions. It's a whole lot more than that and has quite a few domains that it's influenced and that it conversely influences. So our sensuality is like the lived experience of that. Now I'm going to draw your attention to the similarity between sensuality and senses. Our five senses being that which we experience the world through. And then of course we have a sixth sense, but I'm talking about our bodily senses. So our bodily senses allow us to take in and experience the things that are happening around us. And our sensuality is essentially that for our sexuality. So it's the lived experience. It's the embodiment of our sexuality. So how does your sexuality feel for you? How does your intimate interactions feel for you? So sensuality versus sexuality, I can draw a distinction between um, two extremes of love making. So fucking and making love. So when we fuck, we're engaged in a really lustful, high energy, super powerful, really, really raw and intense in a kind of hard, fast way, sexual experience. But there's not much about this, if anything, that's sensual. It's like almost a different signature of making of having sex to then go and make love and making love yes it's still raw yes it's still powerful yes it's still intense but it doesn't have that hard and fast quality that fucking does and it gets much more intimate sort of in a more emotional way it's it's much more gentle it's much more flowy and feeling so your sensuality is more like the making love version of having sex compared to the fucking version of having sex. And so our sensuality also is so much more like I described sexuality as how we carry ourselves in the world, but it's sensuality is then your experience of how you carry yourself in the world. And it's your experience of your sexual self, of your sexual expression, of your sexual enjoyment and pleasure and all the domains that are influenced by that. So for me, for example, as I become more comfortable with my sexual self, I find that I'm dressing perhaps a little bit more even provocatively. My daughter's coming in and my experience of that isn't just that I am feeling sexy. Hi, Dylan. I'm just going to finish my video. OK, I need one minute. It's not just that I'm feeling sexy. The experience for me is allowing it. It feels like a lot of power. It feels like a lot of raw energy. It feels like you got a bouncy ball. You could bounce it on that. Actually, look, it feels like uh, an, an expansion of my being to dress in a way that freely expresses my sexual self. And so that what I'm feeling from that mode of dressing is the sensuality of how I'm dressing. It's how I'm experiencing it. So I would love to hear from you how you have experienced your sexuality then there's you know just give me one that stands out so let me know in the comments i'd love to hear from you and let's unpack this a little bit more so that we don't have the stigma around sensuality and sexuality until next time let pleasure be your guide bye